he's going to come in the clouds. Every I'll see him when he comes. So that basically means that he will appear in the clouds. Uh, those, who, uh, those that are dead in Christ will rise first. Good Sunday afternoon YouTube, this is John Hampton here today with another one of these uh, Bible studies. Right now we're working our way through the book of Revelation, we're in chapter 1. Today we're going to look at verses 7 and 8. And our topic today is going to be on the rapture. And uh, if you want to follow along with me, you can follow along, uh, we'll either, uh, uh, we'll put the text up on the bottom of the screen. Uh, so that uh, you can uh, find it in your Bible, or you can uh, look it up on the online Bible. You know, uh, just type in the corresponding verses in the uh, search, and it should bring you to the right verses. So once again, Revelation 1, chapter, verse 7. Behold, he cometh of clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. So here God is basically telling us that uh, he's going to come in the clouds. Every eye will see him when he comes. So that basically means that he will appear in the clouds. Uh, those who uh, those that are dead in Christ will rise first. Those alive and remain will rise afterwards to meet him in the air. And here it says, and they also which pierced him, which means the uh, people that crucified our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will also see him. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Those who are not ready to meet him, as a reference here, because if they're not ready to meet him in the air, then they will be left behind. And uh, you know, there, there was a big series of books and even a movie or two about two or three years ago uh, that was dedicated to that uh, very thing. What would happen if the rapture of the church occurred? Well, as they uh, very vividly shown in the movies and the books too, uh, that uh, yes, people who are caught up with the Lord in the air, we leave everything earthly behind. And you know, the people that's left here uh, are in for some of the worst years that mankind has ever seen. And we'll find out more about that as we study along here. Uh, of course, it says, even so, amen, which means, even so, Lord, come quickly. You know, uh, let's close this thing out. And the Lord reminds us here in verse 8, he's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, which means he was at the beginning of time, he's going to be at the end of time. And that means he was, before there was time, there was the Lord. He is, even now, with us uh, through his, uh, uh, and, and through the Holy Spirit that comes in with us when we're saved. And then it says, and which has to come, which means as long as, time shall be and even after time ends and we're in eternity he's the almighty god so comfort yourself with those words if you don't know the lord is savior uh we do have a series of videos that there's a playlist you can search for called the romans road to salvation i encourage you to watch all the videos in that series if you don't know the lord is savior and accept him as our lord and savior while there's still time before the rapture does take place and, of course, next week our lesson will be on why John the Revelator has been directed to write to the churches uh, the instructions from the Lord regarding what is to come. In the meantime, just a quick reminder and closing uh, that if you don't have a church home and you are in the Huntsville, Gurley, New Market, Owens Crossroads, Hampton Cove areas, uh, I encourage you to visit my home church, which is uh, Ships Baptist Church on Little Cove Road in Gurley, Alabama. The pastor here is Sam Gully, who believes in taking the Bible literally and uh, believes in Jesus as Lord and Savior.
certainly can tell you that uh, I believe you'll find yourself a great church home here if you come visit us. Our, our morning services on Sunday are Sunday school at 10, morning service at 11, Sunday night services at 5 p.m., and then a Wednesday night Bible study is at 6 p.m. on Wednesday night. Uh, thank you for watching today. May God bless you and have a great week.